Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday, happy new week to you. My name's Robin, what's your name? This is me reading stuff, it's a podcast about literature and poetry. It's on iTunes and Podomatic. Is there anybody up in here who ain't on birth control? How many girls do you meet a day? Are you a fireman? You down for a little fun tonight? What am I supposed to do now? Are you ready to be worshipped? Are you ready to be exalted? Those didn't seem natural to me, did they? You know why? Because they're from the movie Magic Mike XXL, which I watched for the first time, believe it or not, this weekend. There's a whole story there. But my favorite, I was taking notes on the questions they were asking. My favorite being, is there anybody up in here who ain't on birth control? I'm pretty sure I'm going to start the podcast by asking that all the time. Maybe I'll switch it up every once in a while. I really like men who have vasectomies. (laughs) The most important one being my husband, of course. So uh, I might ask that. Is there anybody up in here who ain't got their vasectomy yet? You guys all need to just do that, okay? I'm sorry. If you want a kid, fine. Don't do it. But my advice is get a vasectomy immediately. You know what? I'd I'd like to have at least five of you go out and get vasectomies this week. Report back to me. Email me the receipt, okay? Thank you. I don't need any more details. I just want to see that receipt that you paid the money to get the vasectomy. I did not plan on talking about talking about vasectomies. You guys, I am having a great time here in Wichita. Some of you know uh, the great group of people at Harvester Arts brought me out here to Wichita. And it's just been nonstop fun and excitement the whole time. I'll be honest, I'm a little tired today. I'm exhausted. There's no little about it. I'm exhausted. So I have a humongous Americano next to me, warming my hand as I speak to you. But I wanted to tell you guys that my parents, well, hold on, let me tell you the story. So I was sitting in the lobby of my hotel Friday, preparing for this lecture I was going to give at Harvester. And I'm just kind of staring off. I was pretty much done. I felt good about what I had accomplished. And I'm just kind of spacing out, looking off into the distance. And for a second, I thought, God, that woman looks exactly like my mom. And then I thought it was weird because the guy with her looked exactly like my dad. And then my mom starts looking around the lobby, and we lock eyes, and it's completely my mom. And so I started to yell and cry. I, I was so surprised. They did not tell me. They traveled from North Texas to Wichita, Kansas, to just surprise me and come to my uh, art lecture and movie screening that night. And the, the girls and guys at Harvester all knew about it and didn't tell me, which I loved. Billy knew about it and didn't tell me. And Billy knew that I, I love. I was just saying two weeks ago how I'm dying for someone to fully surprise me because I love surprises. I love it. And I've really only been surprised once. Back when Billy and I were in college, he, he uh, did a really amazing surprise party for me for my birthday where his entire apartment was filled with balloons like you couldn't even see each other there were so many balloons so that was so sweet and I've never really had that moment since then until my parents did this and it was just the kindest gesture honestly that anyone has ever shown me so I've just been in great spirits ever since then and then when I was giving my art talk at Harvester that evening it was kind of fun because it was proof that I talk about my parents all the time positive, positively in my art talks because, I mean, they've seen me do it before, but in this one in particular, I talked about them pretty much the whole time. And it was all, you know, it was all just explaining how interesting they are and how lucky I am to have them. So they got to witness knowing that I didn't have time to plan that out. So that was just a really nice moment. But that wasn't even the end of it. My parents left after breakfast and tag-teamed with two of my closest friends in the entire world, Matthew and Myra, and you hear me talking about them all the time. And they came, they drove from Lincoln, Nebraska here to just hang out with me for the day. And we ate Middle Eastern food. We went to a bookstore. We saw two Frank Lloyd Wright houses. And then back to the Magic Mike reference, I had to do laundry, so they hung out with me in my hotel room and Matthew went and picked us up Bon Me sandwiches, and we just sat here watching Magic Mike XXL while I did my laundry. 
And I got to say, it was one of the best times of my life. It was just so funny and so relaxing and so sweet. And I love those guys more than I could ever explain too. So it's just been a weekend full of love. Uh, you guys know I read, do you remember when I read Theodore Retka, Elegy, Ele, what did I read? Elegy for Jane, My Student Thrown by a Horse. That's the title, I believe. And that's one of my favorite titles of a poem ever. So listen back to that one if you didn't tune in back in the early days. Retka was born in 1908, lived in, until 1963, Pulitzer Prize winning poet. And I just at the bookstore we found here in I almost said Michigan. I have no idea where I am right now. Where am I? Wichita. I got an old book called The Collected Poems of Theodore Retka with a beautiful cover. It's by Dub- it's a double day anchor book. I will put a link on the description of the podcast where you can find another book by him. I don't think you'll be able to find this one. This one is old. I'm just going to do a fun game where I flip through and read whatever poem I get to. How do you like that? Please tell me you like it. All right. I opened up to page 133. This is called The Surly One. One. When true love broke my heart in half, I took the whiskey from the shelf and told my neighbors when to laugh. I keep a dog and bark myself. Two, ghost cries out to ghost, but who's afraid of that? I fear those shadows most that start from my own feet. Damn, that was a good ending, and I totally fucked it up. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. Uh, This is what you get when you haven't... I don't know that I've even read that poem. So this is kind of fun. Let me flip to another one. Okay, page 135, The Swan. One, I study out a dark similitude. Her image fades, yet does not disappear. Must I stay tangled in that lively hair? Is there no way out of that coursing blood? A dry soul's wisest. Oh, I am not dry. My darling does what I could never do. She sighs me white, a Socrates of snow. We think too long in terms of what to be. I live alive and certain as a bull. A casual man, I keep my casual word, yet whistle back at every whistling bird. A man alive, from all light I must fall. I am my father's son. I am John Dunn, whenever I see her with nothing on. Two, the moon draws back its waters from the shore. By the lake's edge, I see a silver swan, and she is what I would. In this light air, lost opposites bend down. Sing of that nothing of which all is made, or listen into silence like a god. Oh, man. Is there anybody up in here who ain't on birth control tonight? I'm sorry. That's not very respectful to Theodore Redka. But honestly, I've read a lot about him, and I think he would appreciate me. I think he would appreciate my ability to go back and forth between him and Magic Mike XXL. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen that movie, I've never seen anything like this thing. I did see the first one, and I, I enjoyed it. But this thing... I, the whole time, all of our mouths were just wide open. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Anyway, uh, just a reminder, I'd like everyone to go get vasectomies. And other than that, I'm just going to sign out and say that you can always see what I'm up to. I'll start posting photos of this big drawing we're making on Instagram, most likely this week. So check me out r-o-b-y-n underscore o-n-e-i-l you can see my trip to the flint hills region of kansas which was just incredible just one of the most beautiful landscapes i've ever seen which is saying a lot because that's kind of what i do for fun is go look at landscapes so anyway you can always check me out over there or on twitter i'm always thinking about you guys i'm always appreciating you and your feedback i'm just appreciating you even if you don't give feedback you guys stay strong I'll talk to you soon.